Hi guys, welcome back to Blue Paint Gaming. I am Jay, and we are playing some more Transport Fever, the Mega City Challenge. Uh, and as you guys can see, uh, since last episode one, I wanted to play the game, have it play a little bit longer to make sure every line was profitable. It is, hey. Uh, second off, you guys can see Torrance has now grown to the point where it now demands two more goods. This is part of this new uh, beta update uh, that I'm, I'm currently playing the beta update. Uh, but this update should be live on, I believe, May 10th for everyone who didn't opt in to play the beta. Um, so you can see here, Torrance has now grown to, re to require more goods, construction material, and tools, which we'll get into. Uh, one thing I want to do is in this series, I want to try to make sure I balance between getting more goods to the Mega City and also connecting to the Mega City up by passenger route. The problem with doing passengers is is it can be a money sink. It's very possible in this game for passenger lines to be a money sink. Um, you know, you're better off if you connect to your largest cities together. For example, we go into our toolbar here. City, 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 city. Um, look at our populations, the Cisco size, right? I'd make a, I, the safer route, right? If I was gonna connect two cities is connect Torrance with Knoxville. As you can see, their populations are the two biggest on the entire map. Am I going to do that this episode? No, I'm not. <laughs> um, I have enough extra cash with my cash flow. I mean, we're rolling in it. Uh, so that's all great stuff, which means I can afford to take a risk. And so we're going to hook Torrance up to, um, and because we're still in the early game and I still have only the speed running at one fourth. I'm really starting to consider to crank that up a little bit uh, because I'm still waiting for these to get an update to update my entire food line. But hey, it's what it is. So... I want to begin connecting passengers up. So the easiest ones to do, if we look at our, our, our uh, contour lines here, right? We want to try to keep the lines as even as possible without going up steep hill. We want to wait till we get the better engines to, before we start really challenging ourselves with the terrain. Um, so our two easiest options, one's Torrance to Chandler. If you look at, um, you know, if we look at the center of Torrance is about 14 meters above sea level. Chandler's, I know, about six. And then we're going down the other side, we have Pasadena, which is about 10. So this is relatively a flat line uh, connecting these cities all along the coast. Uh, there's no on this side of the coast uh, for me to even consider. So I think they're going to be my first two. And I, and actually the reason I'm going to pick Pasadena over uh, Chandler right now is because of this line right here, as I would want to actually redo this entire bridge to make sure that the line goes under the bridge and this thing still delivers. There's not a whole lot of space for that. Um, so I don't want to challenge myself like that right now. My first one. So I think I'm going to go to Pasadena. Unfortunately, I believe Pasadena, unfortunately, is the smallest city uh, on this map. So yeah, this could be a money sink. But hey, challenge accepted, I guess. Uh, so you're going to get it first. And we're going to build first off. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to worry about it. Don't, don't, I'm not going to delete any roads unless I absolutely have to. Uh, so one, I could, I could reformat this platform to also use it for passengers. I don't want to do that. I want all my cargo goods to come up here and I want my passengers to come in down here and just the way I want to do it. So I need to plan for that. Now I want to keep this train station back around here. Um, so that way I'm a little bit farther away from the town. So the town can grow to the train station and the train station is not impeding with the town growth and also the pollution factor. So, which is going to be big in these early ages. So, um, I can't just delete that bridge right now. So what I want to do is I want to move this bridge over. So let's go ahead and unfortunately let's play it on pause. Actually, we just do it paused. All right, eventually we want to connect back up there. Yeah, I, I knew we were going to get alerted. That's why I'm playing on. That's why I'm doing this on pause. Uh, gonna delete that. All right. So what we want to do is I want to plan for the train station to be like right here. So station buildings, passenger station. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do one platform. I'm going to stick on 120 for right now. Oh, wrong direction. I want to go this way. Uh, and we're just gonna have to use the eye test, unfortunately. Uh, see if I can get this somewhat, at least straight to my point of view. Um, and like I said, we're gonna give ourselves room to expand out. All right, I think that's gonna be good. 
All right, and I think what I'm going to do is, because there is a waste of cash, but I need to know what I need to bridge over. We're going to have the, this come out straight this way. Even though we're not heading out that way for today, um, I do need the track to be down so I know exactly what I need to bridge over. All right, cool. All right, so let's build that bridge. Uh, wrong menu, wrong menu, street. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this page up. No, it's not page up. I thought it was page up. Oh, that's what it is. All right. Um, so it's basically your period and comma key, uh, up lower raises and lowers. Um, and I'm trying to get a bridge. Uh, I wish this thing had better tools for building bridges, but unfortunately it does not. Um, cancel. All right. So that's about the, uh, all right. If I do that, can I fit a second? crack underneath there that's not what i wanted that is a huge waste of money all right it does fit but it, it looks terrible it looks terrible let's um actually you're already bridged Why are you? All right. Your bridge like that, I think I want to take it. As long as it's straight. Is it straight? It doesn't look straight. Uh, there we go. Straight. If only I knew. All right. This is a passable lane if I wanted to have one. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of this at all. Not one bit. I wish, I honestly wish they'd have better like tools for this kind of thing. Uh, their tools, honestly, to make bridges and stuff, uh, kind of not great. Um, one thing that they could really improve on. All right, that's enough. Goes over the train track and across. I will settle. And put the curve tool on. And my lower one away, so it means it's accepting that as the new route, which is awesome. Because I really didn't want to do more than that. Um, the other thing I want to do, all right, I might be getting a little greedy with this, but I'm going to cancel this building and we are going to do passenger buildings. Oh, we can add the granddaddy of them all. I'm not sure what the maintenance is on this, but I'm pretty sure it's not worth it. I mean, this is going to be, a, I mean, this is the same thing we're going to use for all of our connections. So. It could be here for a while and honestly, I'm trying to count dots and this thing is not a cooperating at all. Uh, I'm going to say that center. All right, cool. And then do that and that, and then add a small building at the end or a really small building at the end. Now, I don't know. It does look kind of cool. I mean, all this costs maintenance. So hopefully I'm not overshooting myself in the foot. Uh, I am making like 2 million, so I think I can afford it, but hopefully, yeah. well, let's, let's assume I'm right on that assumption. All right. 
And, and this is the only this is the only town's gonna get this major station. The rest of them are just gonna get the little inky, you know, ranky dink uh thing. So let's go ahead and get this thing fully hooked up. Uh, do I want the large street? Uh, I can future proof you later. When I'm making so much money that I could actually just demolish a town and not feel guilty about it. All right, so I think this is good. Okay, this is where the first exam. Okay, so let's back up here. Uh, first of all, I can let it play again. Uh, so this is an example where I'm going to use the flattening tool. One, I want to make sure my road is the same is is flattened to this. So, uh, for example, of using the flattening tool. All right, and then let's get the road. Cool deal. All right, and not like that. That's just not curving at all. Uh, quick, next question is going to be, do I want it to curve? You know what? Let's have it curve like that. We'll get rid of this road. Uh, I'm doing something really wonky right now. <laughs> oh, it looks ugly. looks ugly. Uh, how do I make it look better? Oh, uh, it just is not going to look as cool as that one. I've come to that conclusion. All right, about as cool as I'm going to make it look. <laughs> uh, and we'll let the town naturally fill into all this, which reminds me, I should have made sure I have player ownership on no. Uh, a little late now, but that's fine. All right. Um, we're going to leave this beef right now. I'm not going to do anything with it, but eventually I'm going to put in stops to make sure passengers get from the town down here. But I want to go connect up the other side. So let's go over to Pasadena. Um, I don't really care too much about the other towns we're servicing, so... If it gets a little too close to residential, well, it gets a little too close to residential. What am I going to say? Um, I don't want a street. All right. Oh, thank you town for filling that right on in for me. All right, so we want to grab buildings, station 121 platform. All right, cool deal. All right, and then what we want to do is we just want to kind of go along this shoreline a little bit, a little bit, a lot of bit. All right. Uh, going straight does allow me to expand easily if I make the, the platform larger in the future. Um, we are going to need to make a turn here. And we are doing it. Uh, that's not one of mine, is it? No. Okay, say, so, uh, I just, I'm constantly looking out to make sure that I understand this thing correctly because every time the system clo closes, I'm like, is it one of mine? Because I'm, uh, my understanding is they're not supposed to close if they're being utilized. It's only dormant ones. All right, we're getting close to our passenger platform. Um, I know, I feel like I've been paying attention, but hopefully I've been paying attention enough that, um, I'm not having any drastic up and downhill, which going along the shoreline, I shouldn't have, there'll be some up and down, but it shouldn't be anything drastic. Uh, all right. I want to make sure I have enough straightness to expand later. Cool deal. 
Not bad, just snake along the shoreline, and up there we go. That's what I want. And then we'll do the outside here. Uh, 100's great. Okay, well, I feel more comfortable about my gigantic station because I'm still making a profit. And, um, yeah, it's a nice noticeable profit, too. Ah, 98. I can live with 98. And boom. All right, so let's get the signals down. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford more than one train on this line to start, so I don't need a lot of signals. And where is halfway? We'll say halfway is right about here. All right, and then we do want to like a depot like around here. Yeah. Signal here for this. Not wave points. And there we go. All right, so get a new line. Torrent. So Pasadena back to Torrance. Uh, passengers, I usually use like the color blue. That's what we're going to use there. And uh, just go ahead and rename you. Uh, actually, it's just the MVP for passengers. And we're going, uh, I'm going to put Torrance always first. Actually, no, let's put Torrance second. So let's put the town we're coming from, or the secondary town, and then we're going to Torrance. There we go. Yeah, so Pasadena, I'm not expecting a whole lot of passengers from Pasadena, unfortunately. This, this train's going to lose us money. I, I just know if fans or butts about it. It's going to lose us money until we can, until we have more development going on. Um, all right. So first off stations, let's do one there. And one there. All right. And that, that will cover everything for right now. New line. I usually like to do purple and in the inner city stuff. All right. So I always put an eye for inner city. And this one is just simply Pasadena. Uh, Depot, we'll put it way out of town. Usually I like to do trams in town. Actually, is there a tram line available? Uh, towns are, t or trams are technically most of the time don't pollute as much. So that's kind of why I like to use them. Um, are there, is there one available? Yes, there is. All right. We only want to start with two. Uh, yeah, I'll put you, hold on a second here. Line streets upgrade, All right, upgrade player ownership. No tram track. Yes. All right, now if I go. All right, there we go. You're delivering. And let's go here. There. All right, so 
this is a really big territory to cover. So let's have you go here. Um, we're gonna need more than one. We're gonna we're gonna need an opposite. We're gonna need a forward and a backwards because this is a big town. Um, no, it's a small street for that to be on, but that's fine. We can live with it. And come back this way. And. All right, that will do. All right, so this one's going to be more, a little bit more complicated. Uh, so we want a new line. All right, woo. Thought for a second there, I uh, marked a um, cargo stop as a passenger line. All right, so you're going to go around this way. And that one is counterclockwise. Um, and then we need another new line. And this one is in our inner city Torrance. Clockwise. And let's make you a lighter kind of purple. All right. So that is you guys. And we're going to we do want to make this all tram. So let's get the tram going. Tram track. Yes. Oh, I think this is going to be a problem. Kind of sucks. I had to do that there. Yeah, three million dollars. Oof. Ah, bite the bullet. I got plenty of money. All right. So, oh, and then I need to do the tram track to be out here. Put a tram depot down. All right, and it's by vehicles. We'll have, um, this is a bigger town, so I'm gonna get four to start, each, going in each direction. So four, first four are going to go clock, or counterclockwise. The next four are gonna go clockwise. All right. And the only thing left is to put a train on here and let's go ahead and buy vehicles and of course see like I'm out of time for this episode. So let's go ahead and get a train on real quick. Um, 56 is probably overkill, um, but I'm going to go 56. It's going to be a huge loss. I hate to go less than four cause I feel like either way I'm going to lose money. Um, I'll go 42 for right now just to try to save me some money, but uh, yeah, let's go. Now passengers, unlike the, the cargo one, it's really hard to determine uh, what proper rate you need because there's no way to really check that. At least to my knowledge, there's no way to really check that. Um, so we look at the, pa uh, let's see. Well, I guess it would help if I put them on a line, huh? Like it's saying a rate of 25, which means the way that I read this rate, so the rate is not high enough to even cover the wagons in this train, but this train might not cycle through fast enough. So maybe it is enough. Like it's really hard to determine exactly like what you need to cover the, cover the passenger. Cause unlike the production lines of the goods, right? If I look at, you know, the food here, right? We know we can, we can ship at a rate of 200 to have a hundred percent transport. 
passengers there's absolutely no way to, to tell um none at all i mean you see all these numbers but these numbers don't really mean a whole lot to be honest um when it comes to actually determining how many uh you know passengers train will take now we see these actually starting to load up wow look at you go uh we'll let these be we'll definitely put down more uh inner city trams if we have to but for right now i will absolutely leave them be um how is the other platform doing yeah we got some action over here uh, but this one's not going to show me much at all unfortunately we picked our lowest populated city to do first uh it just happened to work out that way i mean I could have went, you know, managed the hills and everything and went to Knoxville. Um, but I think for the way that I want to set up, I think this is the best route. If it's a loser, it's a loser. Uh, but we have enough income coming in from our commercial goods that we should be fine. But with that said, guys, I'm going to end this right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this run off. We're going to, I'll be back once this is cycled through a couple times. Um, just so you guys have a better idea of where we stand. And I believe in the next episode, unless I believe it's just a terrible idea at this point. Uh, I'm going to connect Torrance. Uh, up to Chandler um, and then before we start going into our other goods into Torrance and maybe I come up with a good way to balance that going back and forth but that's where it is guys if you enjoy this episode you know how to <laughs> yes if you enjoy this episode you know what to do like comment share subscribe I don't know why I threw in share hit that notification bell with that said guys I'll catch you on the next one bye